Brother, much has been said and written in recent years about the challenges of men and boys. A sampling of book titles, for example, includes Why There Are No Good Men Left, The Demise of Guys, The End of Men, Why Boys Fail, and Manning Up. Men are portrayed as incompetent, immature, or self-absorbed. Some men and young men have taken the negative signals as an excuse to avoid responsibility and never really grow up. Brethren, it cannot be this way with us. As men of the priesthood, we have an essential role to play in society, at home and in the church. But we must be men that women can trust, that children can trust, and that God can trust. In the church and kingdom of God in these latter days, we cannot afford to have boys and men who are drifting. We cannot afford young men who lack self-discipline and live only to be entertained. We cannot afford young adult men who are going nowhere in life, who are not serious about forming families and making a real contribution in this world. We cannot afford husbands and fathers who fail to provide spiritual leadership in the home. We cannot afford to have those who exercise the holy priesthood after the order of the Son of God waste their strength in pornography or spend their lives in cyberspace, ironically being of the world while not being in the world. Brethren, we have work to do. Young men, you need to do well in school and then continue your education beyond high school. Some of you will want to pursue university studies and careers in business, agriculture, government, or the professions. Some will excel in the arts or music or teaching. Others will choose a military career or learn a trade. In whatever you choose, it's essential you become proficient so that you can support a family and make a contribution for good in your community and your country. And so to all who are listening, wherever this message may reach you, I say as Jehovah said to Joshua, be strong and of a good courage. Take heart and prepare the best you can, whatever your circumstances. Prepare to be a good husband and father. Prepare to be a good and productive citizen. Prepare to serve the Lord whose priesthood you hold. Wherever you are, your heavenly Father is mindful of you. You're not alone and you have the priesthood and the gift of the Holy Ghost. The church and the world and women are crying for men, men who are developing their capacity and talents, men who are willing to work and make sacrifices, men who will help others achieve happiness and salvation. They're crying, rise up, O men of God. God help us to do it. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.